So the, uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is a little bit of an easier mode. Uh, it's actually pretty significantly easier. So another approach to debugging within a container is if you're, if you're doing this in like a development environment or a staging environment or something like that, you can actually start, you can actually use Delve to run your process. Um, so Delve will be kind of the root of your process tree within the container, and it will exact the, the actual program that you want to run within a container, and that program will, will run like normally. But we'll run Delve in such a way that we'll be able to connect to it remotely from outside of the container and start debugging that way. So let's see a little bit about what that looks like. So here we have a different Docker file. It's essentially the same thing but there's a few things that have changed. So we're, we're exposing a port here and you can see the command here, instead of just being our app that we just wanna run, we're running, uh, we're actually starting the command prompt with, with the, the Delve debugger. Um, and, and this was installed into the container here in the first stage and we just copied it over. So we don't have to copy anything into the container ourselves. It's already there and we're, we're using Delve to exec the program. So Delve will start the program for us. Um, it'll automatically continue the program instead of just waiting for, for some sort of um, input from a client. Uh, it's going to run in headless mode, which means that um, it's just going to be the server. So the, 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 like the command line interface and all of that stuff um, will be like the actual client will be uh, elsewhere. Um, we're just specifying uh, so API version. This should actually be two. Um, and then we're just telling it what, what interface and port to listen on. And then we're telling it what program to exec. So if we run this, so we, we I already have this, this image built. So we run this container, um, uh, del, uh, like so, let me actually, um, We might want to refer to this later. Actually, let me stop this real quick. Uh, I'll stop our other container too. Okay, let's run it uh, slightly differently. So let's run it. Okay, so here's the command that we're going to run. Uh, pretty similar to what we did before. So we're going to um, add the, the sysp trace capability. Um, the, the only thing different is we're going to kind of expose this port locally. So we run our container, and the, the containers, we're not running it in detached mode. So it's running over here. From this other terminal, we can see that. Uh, we'll be able to just connect to it without very much fuss. So we're just running our container. And now instead of having to do all of the copying and, and everything else, we can just run del connect. Um, and since we forwarded the port, uh, del connect 9090, and then bam, we're, we're already in a debug session. And this is significantly easier. We don't have to be within the container. We're in our normal shell environment and everything. Um, and we've just connected to the debug server that's running within the container itself. Now, as you can see, since the client itself is outside of the container, it's not, uh, uh, it's not kind of hindered by any of the namespaces or anything like that. So we automatically have like source code listing working um, and that kind of stuff. There's, there's some substitutions that we would still have to do since we built it in a, in a multi-stage container, like listing main uh, still probably won't work. 
Right. So we, we would still have to do a substitution there, but but if you didn't use a multi-stage build container or something like that, you could see that like the source code and everything would, would automatically be there. Uh, so this is just a significantly easier way of, um, of uh, debugging stuff within a container. So let's kill the other one that we created. 